What's up guys, Adam here. Welcome back to the 36th episode of the AC Milan Career Mode. This is the second episode of Season 3. And before this episode starts, I haven't seen the comments yet on last episode. But I hope you guys did enjoy. And we're going to be kicking this season off in full force in this episode. Let's just take a look at the calendar. We have Sassuolo, Atalanta, and Udinese. Not the most exciting three games to start off the season. But they are still big games. And look at this month of September. Lazio, Napoli and Inter and we're definitely going to be starting our Champions League campaign here in September of 2020. I hope you guys are happy with the signings we made, with the departures we made and I'm just really, really looking forward to this season. I have a few different formations in mind for this season and there is going to be players that are going to play a lot of games and uh, yeah, we're not going to leave anybody out of the squad. Everybody's going to get their fair share of game time and as for right now, I don't really think I need anybody else maybe maybe we could get somebody else but strikers we have four of them midfields we have a lot good players on the wing as well to rotate defenders we do have a lot and uh, goalkeepers we do have two so I think we're pretty good for depth we start off here with a loan offer for Colombo Tommaso Colombo uh, he's the right midfielder and uh, let's accept this offer it's from Braga um, for some reason these loan offers never go through so hopefully he does join them we're taking on Sassuolo in the first match of the Serie A season and we're looking to start off here with a victory a international management offer from Venezuela gonna be rejected I only think I'm going to be accepting Italy and we're taking on Sassuolo at the Mape Stadium here was that formation I was talking about we've used this formation already but with some new players we got some bigger pieces in some different spots so Gigio Calabria Marquinhos making his first start for the club Romagnoli Rodriguez Kessie Parra Mardes pairing up as the two midfielders, Suzo, Milikovic Savage right behind Cutrone, Depay, and obviously Cutrone up top. Our new number nine who got a first hat trick with his new number nine, and let's see what we can do here. It's just beautiful here. The sun is setting here at the Mape Stadium, and I'm really, really looking forward to maybe trying to win ourselves the Scudetto once again, pushing for a big Champions League campaign and also Coppa Italia as well. Player to watch. They're talking about Leandro Paredes, and this is a player that I do not want to let go. I kept him, and he's going to be here. He's going to be a very good part for us this season, and let's see what we can do here against Sassuolo. Player debuts. El Yunusi from Southampton went to Sassuolo, so they've spent some pretty big money, and us, it's Marquinhos. I went ahead and gave Marquinhos the number five. It was vacant because Bonaventura left, and I think number five suits him more than the number 27 that I gave him last time and uh, let's see how he performs here you also notice Savage does have the number 21 I gave it back to him uh, because uh, I think Silva had 20 uh, Silva had 21 so I gave Silva 20 and I gave Savage the number 21 part of that starting off Sassuolo putting on a ton of pressure right now Savage is gonna try to find Cutrone Cutrone has Suzo Suzo can we play it onto his left foot Suzo takes that shot Suzo Going to be finishing as easy as you like it. That left foot is lethal. Cutrone starting off with an assist. He scored a hat-trick last time and he gets an assist here. That might have taken a deflection of the defender. We'll take a look at this one again. Suzo fires it. It takes a deflection of the arm of the defender. But it's going to count as Suzo's goal. And uh, yeah, we're 1-0 up here to Sassuolo. We're just trying to wear Sassuolo out right now because they're putting so much pressure on us every time we have the ball. Calabria to Suzo. Suzo, can he play forward? Cutrone. Cutrone is in the box. Cutrone is going to finish. That 95 finishing stat is not going to let us down. Suzo linking up with Cutrone this time. Suzo gets the assist. And just like that, what a fantastic run by Cutrone. Scores himself the first goal of the season. 26th minute, we are playing fantastic, already 2-0 to Suzo, now Paredes, Paredes has got Kessie, Kessie is going to go first shot, Kessie gets blocked, piling on so much pressure here, we are playing phenomenally right now, I know it's only Sassuolo, but they have given us some hard times in recent years, that's Kessie, outside the box, Kessie finishes low, that's the same side for all three goals, and Kessie scores the goal, 3-0, Paredes, Savage, Depay, Depay with the pass, Kessie, no chance for Consi. he denied us before on Suzo's effort, Kessie first goal of the season, 3-0. Oh, Rodriguez, poor touch, that's gonna lead to something for Sassuolo, it's Kevin Lasagna, Rodriguez off the goal kick, 
and just like that, we suffer a goal. It's Kevin Lasagna, 3-1. Donnarumma played the goal kick. Uh, very, very heavy touch by Rodriguez. It was a mistake. Maybe we should have put the ball further up. But Kevin Lasagna scores right before halftime, 43rd minute. They pull one back. End of the first half, 3-1. Cutrone, Suzo, and Kessie is scoring the goals. Kevin Lasagna scoring for Sassuolo. Fantastic start to the season. Rodriguez, he can send forward the pie. The pie is in some space. Let's find Savic. That's a ball. Savic could have got that one first time. Good save by Consi. Maybe saw the shot coming. And that could have been a first goal for Savic. Suzo now on the wing. Trying to take this one in himself. He's going to stop. Let's give it to Calabria. Calabria back into Suzo. Suzo, let's get her onto that left foot. Play in Paredes. Paredes really doesn't have much. That's going to be played in. Kessie, let's get this back. Suzo now on it outside the box. Suzo, can he go for the shot? Suzo! What a fantastic goal by Suzo. Just flicked it up. Decided to take it. And that is a wonder strike by Suzo. Second goal of the season. It's 4-1. And I really didn't show you this, but Suzo has 99 long shots. Suzo chests it, flicks it up. And that, oh my goodness. Could we be looking already at the goal of the season? Suzo fires that one from outside the box. Side foots it. Doesn't get that much power. But the placement on that one, 4-1 up, Suzo's second goal of the match. We are looking phenomenally right here. Kessie has got Suzo. Sassuolo really don't know what to do right now. Suzo going to try to cross this into the back post. Cutrone, 5-1. Second goal for Cutrone. Another assist for Suzo. And we are just running rampant in this match. And that's 5-1, all only in the 56th minute. Suzo, great cross. Cutrone at the back post. No chance for Consi. And Cutrone scoring his second goal of the match, second goal of the season. The new number nine is doing big things. 5-1. So Swallow has had the better part of the possession in the last 10 minutes. They're looking for something, a consolation goal to just boost their spirit. Mino into Di Francesco. Di Francesco, Marquinhos, tried to get to it. And Lasagna going to be finishing. 5-2, second goal for Kevin Lasagna. Seven goals in this match. I'm going to be making two substitutions here. Cutrone, the two-goal scorer, is going to be coming off. He's going to be making way for Silva. First appearance in, uh, I think, three years for Silva. And Barella is going to be coming on for Paredes. Here's Savic. I saw the run of Suzo, but we're going to give it to Kessie. Now let's give it to Suzo. Suzo, can he play in? Silva is behind the defense. Silva chips that in. Oh, Kessie makes a mess of that. What did you do, Kessie? He's got Kessie looking for one more opportunity. Calabria... Whips that in. There's Savic. Powerful header. And Kosi going to be making the save. And that's how this match is going to end. A 5-1 victory. Two goals for Patrick Cutrone. Two goals for Suzo. One goal for Kese. Great way to start off the Serie A campaign. Another loan offer here. This time it's for Tommaso Esposito. Going to be accepting this. Hopefully the deal does go through. And he's going to be going and playing Switzerland. A loan offer for another player. This time it's Rinaldi. It's from uh, Feyenoord. I thought it was from Gremio, but that was a transfer last time. Let's accept this. So Rinaldi's loan move has been rejected. Colombo has been loaned out. And Esposito's loan move has been rejected. They really need to have a fix for that because it's very annoying thinking that your players are going to go get some game time and then they just don't. We're taking on Atalanta in this next match. They picked up a victory in their first match. Another loan offer for Rinaldi. This time is from Standard Liège. Let's see if he's going to be going and play in Belgium and let's take on Atalanta hopefully this match is going to be played at the San Siro in front of our home fans and let's see if we can pick up three points again two changes to today's lineup Donnarumma, Calabria, Caldara, Romagnoli, Rodriguez, Kessie, Pardes, Suzo, Milinkovic, Savic, Castileo starting and Cutrone up top let's see what we can do here at the San Siro after a fantastic start a 5-2 victory Suzo is the player to watch two goals in the previous match and I said he has 99 long shots another interesting stat is Kessie has 99 stamina so this guy could just run and run and play all kinds of games Rodriguez uh, not a very good start Suzo ha oh, beautifully done by Suzo let's cut oh okay that defender is all over Suzo right now uh that's gonna be played into Savage Savage Kessie Kessie can we start off with a okay Kessie is not going to celebrate against his former club. Kese, fantastic shot. And we start here as we started in that game against Sassuolo. 1-0 up. Fantastic goal. And 
It just seems to be easy mode right now, and that is a fantastic strike. Guess you're going to be scoring second goal of the season in the fourth minute. Castileo. Savage was making a run forward. Let's play forward, Rodriguez. Rodriguez, <laughs> Rodriguez is going to look for a cross into Cutrone. <laughs> it's punched away by the goalkeeper. Paredes now. Suzo outside the... Oh, my goodness. Suzo. That left foot. Atalanta being torn apart already. Ten minutes in. Third goal for Suzo on the season. With players like this, it's going to be a very good time this season. Suzo, third goal for him. And in the 11th minute, we're already 2-0 up. Matiello. Distante, watch a shot by Darun. That's okay. Darun trying to get Atalanta back in this match with a shot from him, but it just does go wide. And this is definitely how the first half is going to end. 2 0 up, goals by Kesse, and the other goal was scored by Suzo. We're up 2 0. Donnarumma, Castileo, the right hand side now. Kesse. Can we play forward Cutrone? He outmuscles the defender. Cutrone now taking it himself. He's got Castileo first time shot. <laughs> Castileo scoring. Cutrone gets an assist. Another assist for him. A sheer strength of Cutrone holding off that defender. Ball roll. Castileo comes in. Fantastic finish for the Spaniard. And that's going to be his first goal of the season. Savage going to be coming off. He's had a good game so far but we're gonna be making way for Chalalolo and we're also going to be taking off Suzo bringing on Chiesa good ball now Chalalolo Chalalolo waits for the run of Cutrone he's in some space Cutrone can he finish here Cutrone he's gonna finish here worked so hard this match to get himself a goal and he does in the 86th Chalanolu comes on, gets an assist. Cutrone, third goal of the season. It's 4-0 here. Held his run in behind the defense. Finished to the goalkeeper's left. Third goal of the season for Cutrone. And now we're actually going to be making a substitution. Let's take off. Uh, I would maybe like to take off Castileo because he is getting tired. Switch to a 4-4-2. So you know what? I'm going to be taking off Cutrone. And let's bring on Ricci. Maybe he can get himself a goal. Chiesa is going to be playing as a striker. That's the end of this match. 4-0 victory. Kese, Cutrone, and Suzo got the goal. I forgot who got the other goal, but it does not matter. Another three points here in the Serie A. Tommaso Rinaldi's lone move to standard Liège has broken down. I don't know why this keeps happening. And I am I was honestly really thinking of maybe simulating this match against Udinese. But I think I get to play it. And that's going to be the final episode. We're going to have the transfer deadline day. Maybe you guys can give me some last minute suggestions. But with the way we're playing and how amazing this team is playing right now. I honestly don't see anybody else that we maybe can sign and clubs look forward to the UEFA Champions League group stage draw I'm looking forward to that we're gonna see who we're gonna take on in our group stage loan offer for Esposito I don't even care who it's from I hope he can go out on loan and let's see if he does Esposito's loan move has been rejected obviously match rescheduled uh, it's the match against Inter so uh, it's going to be played on the 25th instead of the 27th, so that means our group stage draw has come out. Manchester City, another one of my players they want. This time it's Barella. This time it's going to be rejected again. Let's go take a look at our group of the Champions League and all the other groups in the Champions League. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be that difficult. Last time we had Dortmund, Celtic and Liverpool and they did give us a hard time. And we're in Group B with Valencia, Sporting and Galatasaray. So I'm not going to say this is an easier group than last year, but <laughs> you're all thinking the same thing. Let's take a look at all the groups. Group A, City, Leverkusen, Dynamo. Dynamo Kiev, Feyenoord, Group C, United, Schalke, Shakhtar, and Legia Warsaw, FC Bayern, PSG, Club Bruges, and Spartak Moscow in Group D. Group E is Madrid, Napoli, Saint-Etienne, CSKA Moscow. Group F, Liverpool, Barcelona, Lyon, Copenhagen. Group G is Atletico Madrid, Inter, Mönchengladbach, Lokomotiv Moscow. And finally, Group H, it's Juve, Arsenal, Porto, and Zagreb. So some pretty good teams here in the Champions League. And uh, last year's winner were Real Madrid. Maybe Milan can win themselves their eighth Champions League in their history. 90% of our squad is going to be going out on international duty. Loan offer for Tavares. Let's see if this one goes through to Cardiff City. Transfer offer for Chalanolu. Fulham this 
time. Uh, they want to sign him. They already signed Bonaventura and Chalarolu. I'm going to be keeping him here. His contract is expiring in 12 months. We're probably going to have to renegotiate, but we'll see what we're going to do about Hakan. Still a fantastic player. Got an assist last match. Loan offer for Rinaldi from Swansea. Let's hope this one goes through. Uh, they always get accepted, and then they never join the club. Let's take on Udinese, and they were last sitting in, I think, 7th place. Yeah, they're in 7th with 4 points with 1 victory and 1 draw. Two changes to today's lineup. Gijo Calabria Marquinhos getting another start. Romagnoli Lakshal going to be playing instead of Rodriguez. Kese Pardes, Suzo, Milegovic, Savic, Depay, and Patrick Cutrone. Let's kick this match off. See if we can walk out here with 3 points. I would have maybe liked to have started uh, Silva in this match, but with players like this that have 6 goals in their last 3 matches... Who do you want to change? Like, how do you even want to change this guy and not make him play? I know it's Udinese. Maybe we could have rotated it. it but uh, Cutrone is on fire this season. Six goals in all competitions. Three in the Serie A. Hat-trick in his first game. Let's see what we can do here. Calabria watched the ball through. He does play it. Lakshal at the back post and Puzzetto. And be scoring. Down 1-0. Lakshal couldn't deal with that one. 25 minutes in, Udinese giving us all kinds of trouble here. What is an Udinese and why are they giving me so much trouble? 1-0 down. Look at this. Look at the amount of players. Cutrone now outside the boxes. Okay, Cutrone. Okay, Cutrone. He's going to do that. Just so many defenders back for Udinese. They're playing such a deep line and just so solid defensively. But we finally break them down. It's Cutrone with another goal to his name. Fourth goal of the season. Is on fire this season. Kese with the ball. Cutrone just says, you know what? Let me take it outside the box. That's in off the post. That's going to be in the 41st minute for Cutrone. Another goal to his name. That is going to be a corner for Udinese late in this first half. Suzo is going to clear that one away. We're going into the second half. It's drawn level at 1-1. Goal by Patrick Cutrone, Pusetto scored for them. We have been playing well, but Udinese defending even better. Suzo, Savic making a run forward. Here's Savic. Savic, can he find Cutrone? Cutrone is there. Cutrone going to finish just like that. Savic with the pass. I know we're trying to find Cutrone, but I feel more comfortable taking shots with him. That's another goal for the youngster. After they took the lead 1-0, Savic here on that counter-attack from Udinese. And Cutrone is going to be finishing to the goalkeeper's left. Fifth goal for him of the season in the third match only. Scores in the 55th minute, 2-1 up. Savic now. Trying to play forward Depay. Fantastic ball. Depay into the middle. He's got Savic coming forward. Savic the shot. Savic! It takes it. Okay, did it take a deflection? The ball in. Savic takes the shot. It was a lovely shot. But I want to know if this one did take a deflection off of the defender or the goalkeeper. It just slipped past his hands. And Milikovic Savic going to be scoring in the 60th minute. 3-1 after really being dominated in the first half. An easy ball to Cutrone. Cutrone now Suzo. Suzo first time. Oh, Suzo trying to put that one in. Cutrone just misses. Cutrone could have made the game 4-1. Castileo coming on. Silva coming on. Depay coming off as well as Paredes. We're going to be switching to a 4-4-2. See if Silva can get himself a goal here. Marquinhos. Good ball to Lakshaw. Good touch. Now Samu, Samu can play in behind Silva. Silva's in the box. Silva is going to score. Andre Silva, after being two years on loan, he's going to be scoring in his second match of the season. He came on as a sub in the first match. Wasn't able to get anything done there, but he scores here. It's 4-1, and my goodness, we are just playing fantastic this season. Silva, what is Udinese doing? Cutrone, can he send it? Up? Okay, no, good block. A shout. To the other side, to Suzo. Good ball, Kessie. Cutrone, Cutrone. Oh my goodness, fantastic ball for Cutrone. Cutrone, Castileo. That's in off the post. That low-driven shot by Samu. No chance for the goalkeeper. 5-1. First game was 5-2. The last game was 4-0. Uh, uh, this time it's 5-1 in the 88th minute. We are just completely dominating and I know it was Atalanta and Udinese and the first game was uh, Sassuolo but still we're playing phenomenally 89th minute 5-1 Samu Castileo Varela good block do we have one last attack Silva going to look for Cutrone that could have been great Cutrone and Silva 
Uh, maybe they can form a partnership up top. Marquinhos, let's just get this away. But that is a 5-1 victory. Three games, three victories. Five goals in the first, five goals here, four goals last time. 14 goals, four in three games. Savarez's loan move to Cardiff City has broken down once again. So I'm going to leave it here on the transfer deadline day. I honestly don't think we really need anybody right now with the way we're playing and the amount of depth that we do have. But uh, yeah, after three games in the Serie A, Cutrone with five goals, eight in all competitions, Suzo with three, Kessie with two. Just look at the amount of goal scorers we have. And Milikovic Savic already has three assists the pie with four to his name we are just playing fantastically chalarodo too has one but that's how we're gonna end it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are enjoying season three and i want to take a look at the table before we do end it 14 goals for three against juve right behind us and uh, thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time